Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change your footage from looking like this to this. If you guys want to achieve these effects, you guys can go grab my brand new 3D Nature Effects Pack that's linked in the description below. Right now the pack is 50% off for the first week, so if you guys want to go grab it, I would grab it ASAP. Alright, so hopping into this here guys, we have three different clips. We have the example one here, and then we have two clips from a Cash Dommy music video. So getting started with the example clip here guys, we're going to open up the 3D Nature Effects Pack, and once we have it open here, you guys can see we have four different files. We have the all-in-one vortexes, and then we have leaves, which has falling, floating, flying across, and vortexes, and then a nice little transition in there, I forgot to mention. And it's the exact same for the leaves, for the rocks, and the sticks. So we open it up. Same thing, falling, floating, blah, blah, blah. And then same thing for the sticks. All right, so for this one here, I think we're going to go ahead and open up the all in one vortexes. And then I really like the way this one looks here the sticks and leaves vortex. We're going to drag and drop that on there. And this is a 1080p timeline. And all this footage here is 4K 60 frames per second. So I'm assuming most of your guys' timelines will be 24 frames per second. So you can slow all these down here and you can resize them. So let's go ahead and put that on Gunner. I think that looks good there. And then we're going to go up here and keep from the position and the scale and we're going to go along here using our arrow keys and we're going to resize it to match so i think once it gets about there we can scale it down move it over and then keep on going here maybe scale it down a tiny bit more move it over bring it up a tad and let's see how this looks all right, now that looks really cool there, guys. We're gonna cut that piece off there. And if you want it to move slower, like I said, you right click on it, beat the ratio and change it to 50. And you can really get some crazy looks with that there. All these clips are 10 seconds here. So you guys can really use them for long scenes or if you even wanna speed them up to go faster. All right, now once we have that on there, guys, we're gonna add a little bit of a color correction to it to match our footage. I'm just gonna bring this up here. As you can see, the leaves are green, whereas in this footage, the leaves have this brown tint to them. So I'm just gonna turn the leaves up here in the orange section. And then we're gonna go ahead and crush the saturation to kind of get them to match there and then i think we can turn down the highlights a little bit turn on the whites and we have a pretty cool look there already all right now what we're going to do next is we are going to go back into our folder here and we can drag and drop this one on again guys and we're going to cut it just like that and now these files are so big and they're so high quality what you can actually do sometimes is let's go to a different part we're going to put it on top just like i did here and we're going to scale it up so it's going to look like it's flying across the screen in the foreground there we go we have a really cool look with that there guys and we can press Control c on this one and copy and paste our color correct on there we have a really unique look with this guys let's go ahead and type up blur and we can throw on our gaussian blur here and let's turn off the top layer for now let's affect the blur on the main one so let's zoom this in again and holding control to get it more accurate i see that looks good around 7.4 and then let's copy this control c go to the top one and paste it i think that looks good around 13 and boom that's a crazy look guys and now to step it up a little bit more we're gonna go right click and we're going to create a new adjustment layer. OK, and drag and drop that on top of our footage and crop it. And we're going to color this using my LUT pack. So we're going to go down to creative, hit look, hit browse, and it's going to open up this. We're going to go and find the Tiny Tapes Ultimate LUT pack. If you guys haven't seen this before, it has one through 280 plus LUTs with seven different film LUTs. Let's go and apply a completely random one here. Let's go with 186 and cool. That's a really unique look. It's more of like an orange and pink look. And then let's go into basic correction and color correct this a little bit more and add some a little bit of green to it maybe play with the saturation turn down the shadows turn up the highlights saturation a little bit a little bit more green in there maybe some blue turn up the whites turn down the blacks and play with the contrast a little bit and cool and that's a really new color grade there guys or an after you can even go into creative and turn the intensity down a little bit if you're not looking for that crazy intense look or you guys can turn it up it's up to you guys and boom that is the first one there really cool and once you do throw the color grade on you might want to blur these a little bit more to get it more accurate so we're just going to go and do that cool looks really good guys let's move on to our next one here so we're gonna go open up our nature effects pack and we're gonna go to the rocks one for this one so we can either do the vortex but we're gonna switch it up a little bit we're gonna go into our floating rocks which i did for the cash dummy video we have three different options we have floating up close up floating up fast and floating up slow let's do floating up close up and zoom out a little bit now as you can see it's not tracked so we're gonna track this ourselves we're gonna keyframe our position and scale and see where this rock is lined up to this one here as it goes along i'm just gonna drag it over cool that looks track there as you guys can see we have the corner of this rock being cut off there so now if you guys want to fix that we can go to opacity keyframe around it and then hit inverted if there's any rocks you guys want out of the picture you can just do that and you might actually have to go into the mask path and keyframe it so let's move this down here and we're just going to go along and track it so just making sure it's being covered boom 
cannot see it there. All right, now that looks really good there, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna color correct it to match the color of these rocks here. So just super quickly go into basic correction. We're gonna turn the highlights up, kill the contrast, maybe add a little bit of orange into there, turn up the saturation a bit, turn up the whites, turn up the blacks, and maybe even turn up the shadows a little bit. I think that matches pretty decent there, guys. And we're gonna do a different color correction on this one here using our LUT pack. So let's drag and drop another adjustment layer on here. Go into lumetri color, creative, browse, and let's go with number 126 this time. That's a cool look there. I need some adjusting though. So let's turn the highlights down because they look a little bit blown out. Add a little bit of orange to that, a little bit of green, a tiny bit of contrast, turn the exposure down a little bit, shadows down, maybe highlights up a little bit more, play with the whites. And then once we have the color correction on there, we can play with these rocks a little bit more, get them to match. Just take your time with this. And then we're gonna go and apply that Gaussian blur on them because they are in the foreground. So if he's in focus, that means the rocks are gonna have to be out of focus and boom, you guys can get a really cool look just like that. Super easy, just in a few seconds, drag and drop. Come on, you guys are gonna get this anywhere else. And then we can even go and go to rocks, go to the vortexes. Let's try rock vortex one. I'm gonna drag that and drop that there. Press control C, paste the color grade on it, crop it. And then we can have that going around Dami there. I would even, Split on the speed to 50% for this one. And then we're just gonna go to the beginning, track position and scale, size it up, maybe put it up below these obviously. Turn these ones off for now, bring it down to about there, track it that way a little bit, scale it down because he went down, scale it down a little bit more. And boom, that looks cool there guys. And then let's add Gaussian blur to that as well. I think that looks good there. And you guys can get a really crazy unique effect just like that in a few drag and drops. So we have the before and then after. And then for the first one here as well, didn't show it before, after. Crazy guys, this, the amount of stuff you guys can do with this pack is insane. Let's go on to the next one here, Dommy walking. This one, come on man, we're gonna have to throw some leaves on this one. Open up nature effects again. Let's go into leaves and let's go up with the floating leaves. Leaves floating, close up, boom. Let's resize that to where we like it. I think that looks good there. Position scale and once again, let's track it. So it's gonna move that way a little bit. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks tracked there, guys. Now, next, we're gonna match these leaves to those ones. So let's go Lumetri Color, turn up the greens, kill the saturation, maybe turn up the orange a little bit, shadows, kill the whites, take the contrast out, maybe even not the shadows as much, and then highlights, bring those down. I think that looks pretty matched there. And then obviously, it's gonna need a Gaussian blur, turn that up there, because it's closer to the camera. Got some cool leave effects there, guys. And let's go and do the leaves floating up, put that behind. So we have some in the background, scale it in and just adding the same track, keyframe, kind of eyeball it, move it to the side. Think that'll look good there. Yeah, looks really good. Control C, copy and paste the Lumetri color. And let's copy and paste the Gaussian blur as well. But we're just gonna turn it down because it's closer to him. Boom, leaves are super clean there, guys. Wow, looks amazing. And I'm not gonna do it for this one, but there's also leave vortexes. So throwing that on there, we can go ahead and put that around Dami if you guys want, but I'm not gonna do that. There's three different ones in there. I'm gonna keep it clean for this one. And let's throw on that adjustment layer and get this color correction going wild. Lumetri color, creative. Let's go with the completely random one here, guys. Let's go with 94 and boom, we got a really cool green one here. We can spice this up a little bit more. It's gonna add some orange to that, turn the shadows down, highlights up, play with the contrast a little bit, maybe turn the whites up and then bring the exposure down. And okay, we get a really cool effect there, guys. Loving that. If you guys wanna match the greens a little bit more once the color correction is on, or, you know, go in and turn up the Gaussian blur, you guys can do that here. And boom, just like that, guys, drag and drop. This is super simple. It's probably my favorite editing pack I've ever made because it looks so sick and it's so easy to use, guys. If you guys wanna go grab this pack, you guys can get it 50% off right now, linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I recommend checking out a video we did on 3D floating hearts, just like this. And we also have this crazy Yeet 3D Chrome text effect here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.